All right. Uh, now I am on page 403, the Go Math textbook at the top. Now these problems are going to look very similar to your homework problems. So pay close attention to how I'm doing these. Okay. Trace and cut two copies of the trapezoid. Arrange them to form a parallelogram. Find the area. Okay. We've done this, right? So this is three units across. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units across down here. So to do another parallelogram, I have to use this base down here. So three across. And then this is going to be seven across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, should have stopped. Yeah, right there. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, one more, seven. Then we just connect these two dots, okay? Now the height, we can see one, two, three, four. It's got to be a straight line. We don't want to use uh, curved or slanted lines for our numbers, so the height is four. So the area of the parallelogram would be seven times four which equals 28, and then the area of the trapezoid would be half of that, times 1 half or times 0 0.5. Half of 28 is 14, so it's 14 units squared. And that's it, guys. That's all you're doing. So again, number 2, from here to here is 10, and then from here to here would be the length of the other base, which is 6 and our height is 5. So we have 5 times 16, because we have to have all of this. 5 times 16, we'll do that over here, 16 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 80. And then we have half that to find the area of the trapezoid. So we take this number, and 80, and multiply it times one half or 0 0.5. But essentially what you're doing is what is half of 80? Half of 80 is 40 centimeters squared. Okay, same thing here. We know our height is 8. So we're going to do 8 times. And then our length is going to be 3. And then this length is going to match the mirror side, this length, so 9. So together, 3 plus 9 is 12. So it's going to be times 12. If you know your math facts, you know that 8 times 12 is 96. And then you're just going to take that 96, and now you need half of it to find the trapezoid. We just want to know the trapezoid. So then we multiply this by 1 half, or multiply it by 0 0.5, or divide by 2. They all do the same thing. Half of 90 is 45. Half of 6 is 3. 45 plus 3 is 48 inches squared. Okay. Again, you don't need to erase your work. Just get more scratch paper. Okay, here. From here to here, they told us is 5. The height is 8. And then from here to here would be this length, 11. So 11 plus uh, 5 is 16. And then our height was 8. So to find the area of this whole thing, we just do 16 times the 8. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 8 is 8, plus 4 is 12. And then, so this is the area of the whole thing, but we need to find the area of this trapezoid, so we need half of this whole thing. So we multiply this times a half, or you can divide by 2, or you can multiply by 0 0.5. Uh, half of 100 is 50, half of 28 is 14, 50 and 14 would be 64 feet squared. Okay. But again, I can show you that any way you'd like. So we can put 128 over 1 and multiply it by 1 half. I can cross simplify here. 2 goes into 2 1 time. 2 goes into 128 64 times. 64 times 1 is 64, 1 times 1 is 1, and 64 over 1 equals just 64. Okay.
Again, I'm erasing my work, but you never need to just get more scratch paper, okay? I'm limited on space. Okay, let's look at five. We have our height, 14, straight line. This is 22 centimeters from here to here. To find out from here to here, we just add this. So 22 plus 16, that's going to be 38. So now we have uh, 38 times 14 length times width. That will tell us the area of the entire rectangle. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. Done with that 4. Kiss it goodbye. Hug it out below. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 3 is 3. Add it all up. 2, 13, 5. Now that's the area for the whole thing. Now to find the area of just this trapezoid, I need to take half of that because the trapezoid constitutes half of it. So I need to multiply this by one half or divide by two is the same thing. Uh, half of 500 is 250. Half of 30 is 15. Half of two is one. So half of all of that would be 266. Okay, again, many, many ways you can work these out. All right, let's go on to number six. Uh, again, my uh, height is given to me, 6.5. The length from here to here is 14. And then from here to here would just be add that. So 14 plus 8, which is 22. That would be my total length, 22. And then I do 22 times 6.5, which we practiced yesterday. So I have no numbers behind the decimal here. I have one number behind the decimal here. So when I get my answer, I'm going to move my decimal over 1. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10 plus the 1 is 11. Kiss that 5 goodbye. Hug it out. No hard feelings, 5. 6 times 2 is 12, I'm carrying my 1. 6 times 2 is still 12, plus the 1 is 13. Add that all up. And then, that again, that's the area of this entire figure. But we want just the area of the trapezoid for our final answer. So we have to um, take half of this. Half of 1,000 is 500. And I'm just showing you another way to do this. Half of 400 is 200. Half of 30 is 15. So that's going to be 715 millimeters squared. Okay, Just another way of uh, multiplying by 0 0.5. I just look at each place value and get half of each thing and then add those all up at the end. That's, uh, that's one way to do it. It's the way I like to do it. But again, you can do it any way you like. As long as you're dividing by 2, multiplying by 1 half, or multiplying by 0 0.5, it doesn't change the equation. All right, number 7, same thing. They've given us our height, 5 and 1 fourth. Uh, the length from here to here is given to us 8 and a half. So the length from here to here is just this other base, 3 and a half. Okay, so we add those together. One half plus one half is one whole. So that's like nine plus three. Here, I'll show you the work up here. One half plus one half is two halves, which that equals one whole. So really, two halves carries a one. That makes that four plus eight is 12. So this whole length is 12, and then I need to do 12 times the height, 5 and 1 fourth. Okay, don't work it out that way. 5 and 1 fourth, so times 5 and 1 fourth. Again, a lot of different ways you can choose to work this out. You can change that 1 fourth to a decimal. You can change 5 and 1 fourth to an improper fraction. Um, any any way you want. So I'm going to change it to an improper fraction. So to do that, sorry about that. 
To do that, I multiply 5 times the 4 to get 20, plus the 1 is 21 fourths. And then I'm multiplying that by 12, and I'm going to rewrite 12 as 12 over 1. Now I can do some cross simplifying here. 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 12 3 times, and now I have 3 times 21 is 63, 1 times 1 is 1, 63 over 1 is just equal to 63. And now, that's again, I've just solved for the area of the whole thing, but this trapezoid is half of that area, so now I have to take 63 and multiply it by 0 0.5, multiply it by 1 half, or divide by 2. So this time I'm going to show you dividing by 2. 2 goes into 6, oh my goodness. 2 goes into 6 3 times, 3 times 2 is 6, subtract gives me 0, bring down my 3. 2 goes into 3 1 time, 1 times 2 is 2, subtract, that's going to give me, I'm going to move this a little bit, that's going to give me 1. I can add a decimal, add a zero placeholder, bring my decimal straight up if I want to do decimals. Or I can keep it as fractions and say, okay, my remainder is one. My denominator is the divisor two. So my final answer, 31 and one half. Okay. Again, if you have any questions, please pause the video and ask. There are multiple steps here, but you're following the same, you can follow the same steps every time. So find this, find what you like to do best. Do you like to multiply using the fraction, one half? Do you like to multiply using the decimal, 0 0.5? Or do, would you rather divide the answer by two? Your choice. But whatever you choose, I would just do that each time and then uh, you don't have to decide which way you want to do it. Now, ultimately, if you truly understand the math, you should be able to do it all three ways. Okay. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.